Yeah, we thought we'd take the opportunity today, given that it's the 50th anniversary, to announce um, a significant change in the, in the code and an offering that's going to come out during the year. We have basically established an NRL Touch Premiership, which will be played across uh, multiple fields in the NRL Premiership itself, dovetailed into six NRL clubs in broadcast, uh, na broadcast nationally on delayed and, and uh, live games. So, pivotal moment for the game, both genders, male and female elite level sides. How exciting is that for Touch Footy? Oh, I think it's a game changer to be honest. But from a participation point of view, from an aspirational point of view, I was talking to one of the NRL CEOs and he was saying, I want a girl who's growing up in Dubbo to go, at some point in my life, I want to play on that main ground as an elite level touch player for that club. So that aspirational piece for us is enormous. And so too the ability for us to actually showcase the skill set of, of our elite level uh, players. So they're, some of their skills are sublime. Um, they've added to current roster, current, a number of the players or 25 odd players that are playing in the NRL came out of these systems and uh, the likes of Carl and Ponga. And their, their skill set and development in the sport is just superb. So I think this will give people an opportunity to see it, both genders, male and female. And this is the NRL Touch Premiership. And now Norman is lurking, here he is. Norman, what a jump to score! Well, the Telstra tracker, I don't think we had intentions of using it to measure the height that a player can jump. Some of the best touch football players in the world, men's and women's divisions, representing NRL clubs on game day. Look out, here comes the cavalry off the sideline. Two 30-minute games at full tilt, with some of the most dynamic play you'll see on the main stage, broadcast nationally. Here goes the footwork. The Telstra Tractor is having trouble keeping up with the speed they're playing at. The Premiership itself will be played by six teams, both male and female teams, so 12 teams in total, all played prior to NRL first grade games on the main stage. So ANZ Stadium, stadiums in Queensland, mix of teams, both, both states, New South Wales and Queensland, prior to first grade, in front of broadcast cameras, broadcast nationally. Uh, really exciting time for the sport. We're going to make it exciting. We'll, we'll, um, we'll pump it up. The atmosphere will be unreal. The fact that you can now identify the elite of touch with the elite of the NRL, they can be on the same page at promotional days and community visits that the two sports can combine. It's, um, it really is a case of strength in numbers. And, uh, you know, you look at the particip participation rates now in touch football, they're on the up. And, and that has come about. Uh, fast track because of the association with the NRL. I think that everyone's in the touch football community has worked really hard to come to this day so it's really exciting to see it all happening. Yeah well, I just hope that everyone gets on board and everyone enjoys watching it as well like that's our main thing trying to get people to the stadiums um, to be able to watch our games so even like just starting from grassroots level up to be able to make it to where we are today hopefully everyone gets involved. What made you think wow this is so exciting? <laughs> I'm really excited to play in front of a crowd um, I think that'll be really cool um, also at um, the NRL stadium so right before the um, NRL teams play that's going to be really exciting. <laughs> in terms of administration at all the important levels things have come ahead in leaps and bounds and um, the structure right now is just opening up and what's been announced with the, the National Premiership, I mean, it, it really is a case of onwards and upwards and at, at, at now a serious rate. 